So you have enabled server-side Google Tag Manager's preview mode, you send a request to it, but nothing is displayed. Empty. There are many potential reasons for that, and in this video, I will explain them. The first thing to verify is to check the health of your server. You can do that by using the slash healthy option. First of all, if you don't know, you need to find out the address of your server-side container. You can do that by going to your web container and then opening some tag that sends data to your server. For example, if you have the data tag, then here you will find the URL right here. And if you're using Google Analytics tag, for example, then look at the server container URL parameter. In this case, I am using a variable and inside that variable, I see the name. If your variable name is not very descriptive, then you could go to variables. And then here you could check the address of your server side container. So once you find that address, copy it, then open a new browser tab, paste that URL, then add a slash and enter healthy. If you get OK, it means that server is reachable, it works fine. If you don't see OK, it means that something is wrong. Now the next steps here depend on where are you hosting your server. If you're running on Google Cloud, then maybe you could try to redeploy the server or check the domain settings. If you're using some specialized server-side tagging hosting provider, then maybe you could try contacting their support and then ask for help. Also, did you know that 85% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed? If you want to stay up to date with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics, and if you want to get this kind of videos first, then subscribe to my channel. The next potential reason is that maybe your tags in the web container, they are using an incorrect value of the server container URL, or there is an incorrect value in some other field that is responsible for sending data to your server container. So if you are using Google Analytics 4, then check what kind of value is included in the server container URL. If you have a variable, then check the value of that variable because it's important that the value of the server container URL contains an HTTPS, then the full domain or subdomain. And if you're using same origin setup like I do, then you also need to include that subfolder right here, but don't add the trailing slash. If you have it, remove it. And also check for typos because maybe there is one. If you are using another tag, for example, data tag to send data to your server container, then also check if the value is correct right there. Then the next reason is that maybe you have enabled your preview mode on a regular browser window, but you're browsing the site on incognito window or vice versa. If you have enabled server-side Google Tag Manager preview mode, you need to make sure that whatever you're doing on your website is also happening in the same browser window. For example, here I have the server container preview mode, and then here I am browsing the site, and as you can see, it's happening in the same browser window. The tabs are different, but the window is the same. Technically, if you had a separate window like this, it would still work. But what's important is that your preview mode and your website are in the same browsing mode. In this case, I'm browsing in a normal way, so this will work. And if you decided to use incognito mode, then your website and your server side preview mode must be also in the same incognito window. Because right now I have the preview mode enabled in the incognito window. And if I reload the website, that request will not appear in the server container preview mode. Then the next potential reason is that maybe you or your developers are trying to send data from one external system, let's say a CRM, to your server side container. If that is actually the case, then by default, those requests will not be visible in the preview mode. Let me show you an example. So here I have Postman, which allows me to send various requests to anywhere I want. And I want to send a request to my own server. So this is my server side container URL, then this is the same origin path. And then here I have webhook. So I would expect to see this request in my server side container. Now let's see what happens. I click send. I see that the server responded with 200 OK, which means that the server received the request and everything was fine. However, in the preview mode, I see nothing. Because if you want to start seeing incoming requests, but those requests are sent from another system, then those requests must contain a special header. So when you are in the server-side container preview mode, 
click three dots right here, click send requests manually, and then you or your developer will need to include this header and this value right here. So let me show you what happens now. I will copy this, I go to Postman, and in the headers, I include that key, and then I copy this value and paste it right here. So now if I click send, the server still receives the request, but now that request is visible in the server container preview mode. So remember that if you want to see incoming requests in the server container preview mode, those requests must contain this value right here. One thing to note is that this keeps changing. I don't know how often it changes, but it definitely does. So if your developer includes this header in all future requests, then at some point, those requests will stop being visible in the preview mode. Plus, it's not very convenient because if you are testing something and then the developer has to keep changing the header value, the process becomes much slower. So if you are hosting your server-side container on Stape, they have a feature to help you with that. So in your Stape account, if you're using it, select your container, then go to power-ups, then scroll down and look for SGTM preview header config click use, enable it, and then paste that Google Tag Manager header value right here, and then click Save Changes. So when this is done, all incoming requests into your server will be augmented with this particular token, and those requests will become visible right here. In fact, you will start seeing a lot of requests that are not even necessarily coming from that external service. Basically, you will start seeing a lot of requests that come to your server. So if you want my advice, once you enable this, then send a request to your server and then disable this almost immediately. Otherwise, you will be spammed with a lot of requests right here. But nevertheless, this is a very handy feature because, as I've said, you don't need to keep sending the developer the updated header value so that you keep seeing those incoming requests right here in the preview mode. While we are talking about external systems, here comes the next tip. Maybe you're not seeing the requests in the preview mode because your content delivery network or your firewall or something else is blocking the incoming requests from that particular external system. For example, here I'm again in Postman and now if I click send, I will get 403 forbidden, which means that something between that external system and my server side container, something is preventing that request from being received. Now I'm using Cloudflare and for that, if I go to security settings and then I temporarily disable the bot fight mode, then if I send the request, it will be delivered properly. But in your case, there might be something different. So cooperation with a developer will be necessary here. Maybe your developer will need to add some IP addresses of the external system into the whitelist or something else. Now, I cannot give you the specific advice here, but I'm just showing you the direction or giving you a hint that this might be a problem that you're having. By the way, did you know that I have a bunch of free eBooks on Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics? So if you want to better learn these topics, then click the link below the video, download those eBooks and get started. The next reason might be that maybe you have a browser extension that is blocking some scripts in your web container, therefore the request is never sent to your server container. Let me show you what I mean. So here on this website, I have enabled preview mode. I see that Google tag has fired. For example, it fired here on the initialization, but no request was visible right here. So what I did is that I opened the website. I opened developer tools. So I did that by clicking three dots, then more tools, developer tools, went to network and then just checked various requests. If you don't see the requests, then you should reload the page and then see if there are any blocked requests. So technically you can even sort by status. And here I see the request which is related to GTAG and this is responsible for loading Google Analytics. Since this is blocked, then no data is sent to Google Analytics. Now, if I look at this request, even though it is sent to my own server-side Google Tag Manager endpoint and it's using my custom domain, 
browser extensions are smarter right now and they might look at other parts of the URL. For example, if they see G tag or if they see some measurement ID or you know something else that is related to Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager, then they still might block it. So if possible, you would need to not only change the domain right here, but also change what the rest of the request looks like. If you're hosting your server-side container on Stape, they have a feature for that. You should go to your Stape container, then go to power-ups, then custom loader, configure, and then here you will need to enable, select your domain, enter your web container ID, but also you should enable this toggle right here and then save changes. Or you should also click the generate option and then follow the instructions because maybe you will need to do some updates on your website. So once this is done, then you can wait for several moments and then you could try to reload the page and see if those requests are no longer blocked. Also, if you're using Stapes plugin, then it might make sense to use the same origin domain right here. It's the same domain that I have entered in my tags in the web container. And now if I click save changes, then go to the website, reload it, and then look at requests, let's say slash some, because that's part of my server-side container URL. Then I will see some requests which are modified. And if I go to the preview mode of the server container, I will see those requests right here. And in the web container, the tags have also fired fine. Another possible reason is that maybe your Google Analytics for event tag fires before Google tag. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have a Google Tag Manager container and in it there is a Google tag. Inside this tag I have configured a server container URL. So if any Google Analytics event tag fires after this tag has fired, then those events will inherit the same server container URL and they will send data properly to your server. However, if your event tags don't have the server container URL configured and for some reason that event tag fires first before the Google configuration tag, then this event will not be sent to your server. Because at that moment, this tag does not know that it is supposed to send to your server. Let's click preview and I will show you what I mean. So on initialization, my purchase tag fired. And then on, let's say DOM ready, the Google tag fired. The event tag fired first. Now, if I go to the server container, I will see only page view because that came from the Google tag. The purchase is not visible here because it was not sent to my server. So ideally, you should make sure that your Google tag fires first. And additionally, I would suggest a safeguard that you update all your GA4 event tags as well to include that server container URL. You can do that either by adding parameters manually, but that's too manual. Alternatively, you could create an event settings variable where you include server container URL, and then you include that domain here, and this variable should be used by all Google Analytics tags in your web container. And then the last hope could be to try to contact the support. In this case, I mean the support of whoever is hosting your server-side Google Tag Manager container. Now, it might be challenging or it might be even costly to get support, let's say, from Google Cloud. I don't know about other hosting providers like Amazon or Microsoft. I don't know their support. But for example, if you are using dedicated services that specialize in hosting server-side Google Tag Manager, then I think it's definitely viable to contact their support. After you have done a lot of troubleshooting and you still have not found any reason, then try to contact the support of the vendor that hosts your server. And I'm talking about vendors like Stape or others. It's their bread and butter to make sure that your server-side container runs smoothly. So I think that if you have done enough troubleshooting and you're still stuck, it's worth giving a shot and contacting their support. And these were the reasons why you're not seeing requests in your server-side Google Tag Manager preview mode. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.